suggest find a place in your home or on your backyard and just sit peacefully and take a couple of beautiful deep breaths and open up through the chest, lift your heart, take your arms up to the sky, thumbs are backwards, take a gentle stretch to your right, hold your left wrist and then grab your right wrist and over to the left, back into centre, lifting your heart, go ahead now and just fold and open. Fold through that spine and open the chest. Open the heart. Breathe in. And just keeping one thought, not too many in your mind. Twist to the left and rotate back to the right, keeping your spine long. Go ahead and take your hands to the mat and come down into your child pose. Deep breath, pulling up through that spine. And just come into your cat and cow. Pulling up through the belly. Dropping the head. And reversing, segmenting your spine. Just go at your own pace. Noticing what feels tight in your body, but not giving into it. Lifting up and coming into your down dog now. right leg up to the sky, tightening that buttock and then pull into your mountain climber, lifting up to the sky, right knee to right elbow, up to the sky, right knee to the elbow, with a gentle pull into the belly, keeping the toes pointed, then drop to the opposite buttock with a flexed foot, fold over and lift yourself Extending that body, taking that leg back around now into a long lunge. Hold, lifting your right arm, coming into your twist. Bringing it back down to the ground and lengthening into a beautiful hamstring stretch. Dropping into that long lunge and lengthening, pulling back through the foot and lengthening, dropping the hip. right foot out, allowing some more space in your hip, and if you can, bring your elbows to the ground, and listen to that body, again lifting back up and taking that right leg up to the sky, our three legged dog, before we return to the earth, and press back into our down dog, go ahead and repeat now on the left leg, squeezing that buttock, coming into your mountain climber, Lifting to the sky, pulling down into your mountain climber, lifting to the sky, pointing the toe, pulling back in, taking it right up and pulling in that knee. Go ahead and flex the foot over to the right buttock and then over into your wild thing and lengthening that left arm back. Before you return to your three-legged dog, left leg in the sky, bringing it around into a beautiful long lunge and holding, rotating the left arm up to the sky. Before you return, taking that left foot more out on an angle to allow more opening through our hips. Listen to that body. and just bring yourself into that beautiful opening allow yourself to come to the earth and if you can bring the elbows down if not just stay where it feels comfortable take a breath and hold just be patient with your body pulling back out and taking that left leg up to that three legged dog again before we come down and place ourselves into our pigeon pose, a left leg tucked, sneaking the knee to the side, rotating your right hip 
down to the ground. And again, if you can't come down, come down onto your elbows. But if today doesn't feel right, then stay on your hands. Climbing back out, holding that long lunge. And taking your right leg now around into its pigeon pose. Just nurture your body into where it feels comfortable, whether it be on the hands or the elbows. And go back to your breath. Sneaking yourself around now with that left leg coming across your right and rotating your body to the left. Keeping your spine nice and long. Now return and grabbing your big toe now with the two fingers hooked in between and opening out to the back. Return back to the front. Bringing your legs into a cross position and forward fold into your child pose. Lengthening out every muscle down your spine. Spread your fingers, starfish fingers. Sitting back up and grabbing your right leg now, taking it across, lifting up your left arm. Rotate your body around to that right leg and go ahead and rotate and look over your right shoulder. Hold length in your spine. Come back and grab that big toe by hooking your two fingers in your big toe. Then return looking over your right shoulder. Before we return to the center, and come back into that child pose, lengthening out. Such a yummy position. Segment your spine and roll up, placing your hands behind, fingers towards your bottom, and lift your heart. Now go ahead and lengthen your feet, point the toes, lift up the buttocks. Leg pull prone, we lift right leg, and we lift left leg, pointing the toes, engaging your quads. Go ahead and placing your bottom back on the floor, Hands to the side, roll down, segmenting your spine. Roll back up, place the hands behind you. Lift the buttocks, lifting up the left leg. Lifting up the right leg, engage those legs strong. Lower back to the earth. Tuck into the belly, foot fold, point your toes. And again, roll back up. Hands behind, fingers facing your bottom. Lift those hips as high as you can. Lift your left leg. And lift your right leg. Coming down to that earth. Noticing the freedom you're feeling. Roll down, drop the head. Notice how much more you have gone. And then bending your knees, ready to come into some nice abdominals. I want you to come into your C curve. Just arch into your tummy and lean back, holding the back of your legs. Bring your arms over your head. Take a big circle, tuck your chin and exhale, roll up, hands to the sky. Draw into your belly, roll down, segmenting, big arms overhead. Circle, tuck your chin, press the back down before you come up. Ensure that you exhale as you come to the sky. Arms around, tuck your chin, exhale, reach to the sky. Diving in, segmenting, arms reaching, circle coming around and reaching to the sky. Diving into that C curve, big circle. Lift your chin first, dive in that belly second, then reach third. Ensure you always exhale on your exertion, reaching over. Now bring your knees in and give yourself a big hug. Extend the legs up to the sky, your arms out to the side, pendulum swing, rock to the right and rock to the left, engage your quads, glue the knees together, keep the shoulders pressed into the earth, you don't have to go as far as me, just go to where you feel comfortable, ensure the legs are not moving away from your hips, but are moving in a half circle over top of your hips, Keep that flow moving, same speed. Now bring the knees back in. Give yourself another hug and lift the chin in and nurture your spine. Place your feet now on the ground. Dive into the belly. Press the lower back down. Squeeze the buttocks and roll up to bridge. Arms go over. 
Go ahead, lift the left leg into tabletop, then the sky. Three controlled kicks, and two, and three. Come back up, tabletop, place to the earth, lift your hips up. Lift the right leg, tabletop, reach to the sky. Three kicks, one, and two, and three. Reach to the sky, tabletop, and come back down. Lift the hips, now segment down, roll down, bring your arms back over. Let's repeat, lift the hips, take your arms over. Left leg, tabletop, reach for the sky, three kicks, and two, and three. Check those legs are straight, tabletop, place the left down. Lift your hips, right leg lifts, reach for the sky, and three kicks, and two, and three. Lift up, tabletop, come back down. Lift your hips before you dive in your belly and segment down to the earth. And again, breath in, lifting up that right leg now. Left leg extends, hold behind your right leg for hamstring pull. Lift your head and exchange, 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 exchange. Breath out each time you exchange, exchange, exchange. Hug in and come back down and have a little rest. Extend that left leg up. Extend your right leg out. Lift your head. Pull into your belly. And change, 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 change. Feeling it, change, change. Pull both knees in and let the head come down to have a break. Beautiful. Roll over to your right side. Bring the knees in and start your clam. Just opening and closing that knee. Taking it as far up to the sky as you possibly can. Lifting. Now go ahead and come up. And we're going into scissors. Straight legs open and open. Come back to center and open. Center and open. Zip that tummy open, keep your glutes on. Swing your legs to the other side. Now on your left hip, arm extended. Check your feet are in front of you and come into your clam. Opening that top knee as far as you can. Just nurturing those hips. Beautiful, extend your legs out, lock them up. Scissors open, straight legs, pointed toes open and open, and open, beautiful, open, feeling those buttocks working, and open, and open, a few more, open, and open, up we come, come on onto your glutes, zip into that tummy, sit nice and tall, lift your head, lift your heart to the sky, take a breath in, and exhale out, Breathing in the nose and exhale out. Take your hands into prayer position. Place on your forehead and lift your head to the sky. Take another breath before you come down to heart center. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's practice in my backyard. This is Sandy. I wish you all blessings.